Yeah guys, this is a great idea. Let's go into this very clearly abandoned building. There's an exit right behind us. What could go wrong? Alright guys, I'm a, I have an idea. I'm gonna use my phone, that's at 1%. I'm gonna use it as a flashlight and not call the cops. I think that's the best bet. Tiff, I'm sticking with you because you're the main character. You're the best chance of me getting out of here alive. Okay. Guys, I think we should split up. It's the safest way possible. Guys, it's not that Wait, where'd everyone go? Hello, Verada Vipers. Welcome to The Weekly Show. My name is Ben, and I'll be your host for today. Students, if you have any overdue books, make sure to return them to the library. Once you return your overdue book, the fee will be removed from your account. Any freshmen interested in joining Stugo, please visit Mrs. Spiegel in room E15 to receive your application. With all of that out of the way, let's move on to sitting with Andy with Trevor. There are people out there that say money cannot buy happiness. But money can buy the Lego Millennium Falcon, and therefore, money can buy happiness. Sun Tzu, The Art of War. Stanley Kubrick once said, if it can be written or thought, it can be filmed. Welcome to Let's Get Cooking. I'm your chef, Chef Andrew, and today we are cooking a tasty burger that you, even you, can cook at home. So let's get cooking. The first thing that you want to do is season your burger. So what I have is salt, pepper, sage, and garlic powder all mixed together. <laughs> now a lot of people are out there wondering, Andrew, how did you get to be such a great chef? And the answer is, I'm just a great chef. Okay. And remember, nothing that, that is raw, that touches anything else, cannot touch anything else. Since I'm such a great chef, I already have got this nice and warm for me. What you do is give it a nice brushing, clean the grill. Next, you have your vegetable oil in a small bowl and you just dip it in here like this. You're painting about like your Bob Ross, a happy little grill here. And now you're just gonna let the grill be open, let them cook there, and wait until you see some blood coming up, and then you can flip. How I get the burgers to cook faster is I always give them a good old, let's get cooking, let's get cooking, let's get cooking. It always speeds everything up. And I see some blood over here, some blood over here. Flip it. All right, these burgers are done. They've got a nice salada, perfectly fine. Now we bring them off to our fresh plate. Now your all-American cheeseburger isn't a cheeseburger if there's no cheese on it. So what you need to do is cut the cheese. Your bun, uh, one, the secret to making a good bun is buying it, burger. Nice on here, cheese pieces, those and pickles, some nice fresh frozen tomatoes, some mayo. Let, let's be healthy, lettuce. And finally, what you need to do is give it a nice flip and then throw your ketchup on there. That is how you make a your all-American cheeseburger, ladies and gentlemen. All right, folks, Chef Andrew, how you make your my famous all-American burger. Now, 
back to the show. Hosa is hosting a blood drive on November 9th in the small gym. Anyone 16 years or older is able to donate, but make sure you get a minor consent form filled out by your parents. You can pick one up from any Hosa member or from Mrs. Hernandez in the field house, or you can also pick one up at the bookstore. Thank you for anyone who participated in Spirit Week this week. Now moving on to sports. So relaxed. You trust me and what I say. The government love you. The government cares for you. Watch the television. This is the truth. Hello and welcome to KVHS Sports, hosted by Ryan Tiffany. Today the Verado Vipers football team looks to keep the win streak alive as they play the Ironwood Eagles tonight at 7 at Ironwood High School. Congrats on the great season from the badminton team for a 13-1 record as you look forward to the playoffs. And also congrats to the girls volleyball team, cross country, and golf on your great seasons. And to the swim team as they look to compete for a back-to-back -back state title. Fall sports are coming to a close, which means winter sports are coming up. If you're interested in boys and girls basketball, boys and girls soccer, or wrestling, make sure you have your physicals and paperwork filled out. Thank you so much for joining me on KVHS Sports. I'm Ryan Tiffany. See you next time. Hello, everyone. My name is Jacob for the KVHS Show. Now, I have a personal belief that I think all Starburst tastes the same. So to test that theory, we're going to go up to random students and teachers and see whether or not they can guess the flavor or color with their eyes closed. Let's get ready. Yes, sir. Alrighty, uh, what's your name? Uh, Mr. Deal, I teach government economics. Alright, and you? Uh, Jordan, I'm in 11th grade. Alrighty, so I think that all Starburst tastes the same. So we're going to have you guys close your eyes and see if you guys can guess the flavor to prove me wrong. Okay. Alrighty. Works for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. You're not cheating. Alright, we're gonna have Mr. De we're gonna have Mr. Deal guess first. I'm gonna go with strawberry. You are right, sir, and you are also right, so congratulations. Yay! Thank you. All right, hello, what's your name? Uh, Gary. All right, what year are you? Uh, junior. All right, so I think that all Starburst tastes the same. So we're going to have you close your eyes, reach your hand out, and see if you can guess the flavor and prove me wrong. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. All righty then. you got to close your eyes so you're not cheating. All right. I think that's orange. All right, so unfortunately for me, you are correct. <laughs> Thank you very much. So that's all we have for that. And despite the overwhelming majority of people being able to guess correctly, I still think that they were just lucky. And all Starbursts still taste the same. And nothing will change my mind otherwise. Seniors, remember to order your cap and gown. They're already available, so why wait? There will be a canned food drive from November 8th through the 18th, so bring non-perishable items to school. There will be boxes set around campus, and the wing that brings in the most cans will be awarded the Most Kenny Award. Hi, I'm Kiana, reporting from KVHS. Are you someone who enjoys watching odd genres of movies? Or maybe you prefer comedy or a slice of life films? Well, it's time for you to branch out at the KVHS Movie Night on November 9th. You can experience all different genres, of student-made films, best picked from all over the school years. Movie screening begins at 7 p.m. Concessions such as sodas and popcorn will be available for purchase all throughout the night. Tickets are $5 in the bookstore. We look forward to seeing you there. Welcome back to Question of the Week. I'm your host, Andrew, and this week's question is, what is your favorite Halloween candy? Let's see what everyone will say. All right, who am I with today? Craig Miller. What do you do here at Verado? I'm security at Verado. What is your favorite Halloween candy? Oh, yes, by far, Snickers. That's a good answer. Who am I with today? 
My name's Travis. What grade are you in? I'm a senior. What is your favorite Halloween candy? Um, I would have to say like Milk Duds or like Twizzlers. Those are good candies. Thank you for your time. Who am I with today? Senora Nuno. What do you teach? Spanish 1 and 2. What is your favorite Halloween candy? Snickers. That's a good answer. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Who am I with today? Uh, my name is Sean. What grade are you in? I'm a senior. What is your favorite Halloween candy? I'd have to say I'd have to say Twix. That's a good answer. Who am I with today? Gilbert. What grade are you in? Uh, I'm a junior. What is your favorite Halloween candy? Uh, probably Kit Kats. That's a good one. Thank you for your time. Who am I with today? Mr. Quillico. What do you teach? Earth science and environmental science. What is your favorite Halloween candy? Uh, the pumpkin Reese's. Those are pretty good. If you get any Halloween and you're allergic to peanut butter, bring them to A5. All right. Have a good rest of your day. You Thank too. you for your time. Bring it in here. Those were some good answers. My personal favorite is Mounds. This is Andrew. See you next time for Question of the Week. Where is cool and cold? I'll be waiting for you. Hello, welcome to Weather with Trevor. I'm your host, Trevor. So today through Monday, it's going to be mostly sunny skies, maybe even always sunny, with temperatures in the low 80s and then the high 60s, low 70s. If we move on to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we will see a drop in temperature on Tuesday, so be prepared for some rain. And then on Wednesday and Thursday, it's going to be just about the same as all the other days, except Tuesday, mostly sunny. And that should be it. This was Weather with Trevor. Thank you for watching. Spooky season is here, and today I'm writing candy from best to worst, so you have an idea of what to fill your trick-or-treating buckets with and what to avoid. Up first is the original Hershey's. There's nothing really special about this, but it doesn't taste bad either so I think it belongs in C tier. Next is Jolly Ranchers. Honestly, they're not horrible, but I probably would be a bit disappointed. E tier. M&Ms have a nice crunch. The flavor is actually pretty good. This belongs in B tier, and now it's partner, Peanut M&Ms. They're also pretty good, so I'm gonna put them beside regular M&Ms. In fact, I'm just gonna change the name of this tier. That's better. Three Musketeers Baby Ruth have nothing special about them and make no attempt to stand out. With that said, it tastes good, C tier. Left Twix has an amazing caramel taste and a great texture, A tier. Right Twix is trash, F tier. Reese's Pieces is the wannabe M&M's, B e tier. You're not you when you're hungry, Snickers satisfies, A tier. And Kit Kat. I don't know what to say about it, it's just pure joy. Everything about the experience of eating a Kit Kat is unrivaled, S tier. Fruity M&M's don't really work for me. Skittles are too sticky, but flavorful. D tier. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups have the best peanut butter to chocolate ratio. When they're slightly cold and soft, they taste amazing. S tier. Crunch, honestly, is just below Hershey's. D tier. Starburst fills my mouth with extreme fruitiness, and it absolutely deserves its spot in A tier. Tropical Starburst has the slightest edge over its predecessor and tastes incredible. S tier. Last, but um, never mind, it's, it's Dots. Everyone knows where Dots belong. I hope you enjoyed this segment, and now you have a proper idea of what to look for when you're trick-or-treating. 
On November 5th, students are invited to show off their performance-based talents. This includes poetry, songs, dance, etc. at the first Friday, so make sure to sign up. KVHS will be hosting a movie night on November 9th from 7 to 9 p.m. They will be showcasing over 25 of their award-winning films throughout the years. So make sure to pick up your tickets in the bookstore for $5. That's all I have for this week, and I'll see you next time on The Weekly Show. Thank you.